I'm wearing this because Rita Ora said that we should make these things cool. And I was thinking about how awkward it is being the one guy wearing a, fa a mask in public. Um, but if a lot of people are wearing them and they're making them fashionable, then um, it makes it more socially acceptable for everyone to wear them. Because then it's not like, oh, you're scared. No, you're actually the only person in the room that's um, being careful. All right, so yeah, this is the work, the artwork I've been working on, and I keep messing it up, and I haven't finished it. I haven't done the lines. It's gonna take forever to even get close to it being done, and I messed it up so bad. Yeah, it's gonna look very different, um, but I have to wait for it to dry. It says Horea in Arabic in it, um, and it's a noon for Nazarene. Um, noon is a, a letter in Arabic, um, but I was gonna put this inside of it, uh, I like it because I shot it perfectly um, twice and it I was gonna put it in the circle but now I don't know Miley show is super girly but the best thing about it is that I get to see her personality and I get to see her interact with all these people that I don't know anything about so like I didn't realize Jeremy Scott was um, he's just um, he, you see it in his clothes that he's bright, that he has like a brightness to him, you know, because his clothes are like, bam, um, like if you want to talk about use of color. That guy knows, like, I mean, I guarantee you that guy knows a little something about color, um, but um, he, but you don't realize that his personality has that same thing about it, and it was nice having my day brightened up by him, and that's why I don't want to be depressing, um, but. The reality is that there's this constant back and forth where the politicians are saying, the Chinese did it. Um, this is the Chinese fault. Even if it was an accident, it's the Chinese fault. And then the um, there's some people that are saying, actually, um, John Alexander was saying this exact thing needed to happen. Like, like the month that it happens and before that too. And he says he works for the CIA and um, and then there's some people in the CIA that are going, he doesn't work for us, I promise. There are a lot of them, I'm sure. And then um, there are a lot of people that are saying um, that it was on purpose. And there are a lot of people saying it wasn't on purpose. And that's like, it's like saying, like most of what I read is that it's generally accepted that it wasn't on purpose. I feel like I need to make that gray, yellow. But that's the problem is once you make a mistake, you're screwed. And I, I have learned so much by screwing up this painting. I wanted to paint something bright and I, I really blew it. I feel like the key to painting bright colors is you go after them and even if it doesn't work out with the first thing and then you repaint it and then you repaint it again until it's bright. But you try to keep the darkness out of there but you hit, but you, um, you don't give up on making it white because you'll put another coat on there. And that's, that's, that's what I'm learning about that. I, this is going to look way different once I finally finish it. It's just because I haven't even done the lines. The line, it looks so different after you do lines. Anyways, so I'm sorry I'm not being that exciting today. I've, I've been kind of in the dumps. And I think a lot of, a lot of us are in, are in the dumps. And one of the reasons I've been in the dumps is because I can't exercise. And so... Um, even though I don't want to go watch Miley exercise, um, it's kind of nice that she's doing exercises on there to remind people to exercise because the one thing that you're going to go through if you're stuck at home for a long time is body-based depression where you are you haven't been ambulatory, you haven't been moving, and so um, you're getting depressed because you haven't been moving for so many days in a row. And so you got to figure out how to move like you should do up downs or something or go do sprints or go for a walk if you can I mean right now I can I'm in, I'm under the snow um that's it I'm not gonna talk too much today um I hope Lizzie's okay I know that she went through a real I think she went through a real relationship and I think she went through a real breakup and I think that she really got sick of me and um I understand like 
you have to know me for long enough to forgive me for all the bad all the mistakes I've made and I feel like I've made mistakes like John Mayer was mentioned and do I have a problem with John Mayer not at all um, am I afraid of John Mayer yeah because of things I've said about John Mayer like accusations I made years and years ago based on what I was hearing and I I don't know I feel like John Mayer um, like he should be on the best artist of all time list no matter what um, just like Blake Shelton should be on the best artist of all time list no matter what and am I afraid of Blake Shelton dude he used to be my favorite musician or one of my favorite musicians and now it's like every time he's on the radio I have to get away from it I feel like I'm afraid of a lot of people um, it's weird how like when I make a mistake I'm a conflict avoider uh, I, I'd prefer just not to have to see you after I've um, after I make mistakes and I, I feel like I need to get better about that and just face my face my issues face my face my past